Hi everyone, we're gonna take a look into how to set up IoT management system using Belena. Before we start, we need to install a couple of things. First, we need to install Belena command line interface that's gonna help us to interact with Belena API. Next, we need to install Belena Etcher that's gonna help us to write executable image into SD card. After installs are completed, we can go to belena.io and sign up. Once we sign up, we're gonna end up in the dashboard page where we can create our applications. We're gonna go ahead and create new application and give it a name. Also, we're gonna choose our hardware. In our case, it's gonna be Raspberry Pi 4. Once application is created, we're gonna be inside our project. We can add a new device. Here in the configuration, we're gonna specify how do we want to connect to internet, through ethernet or Wi-Fi. We're gonna choose Wi-Fi. Here we can add Wi-Fi SSID and the password. Then we can go ahead and download Belena firmware. Once firmware download is completed, we can go ahead and use Belena Etcher to flash the SD card with the firmware. We can select the firmware from the downloads and we can select the SD card. We can go ahead and flash it. Once flash is completed, we can plug the SD card into Raspberry Pi and connect it to power. Now we can go to Belena dashboard and within a minute, device will show up in your project. Click on it and we will be inside control page. Now we need to create project directory and our first file will be dockerfile.template. Dockerfile is a text document that contains all the commands to execute on the start. First command will create node layer in Docker image. Next, we will create app directory. Next, we'll copy package JSON. And we will run npm install. To set up time zone, we'll need to run these commands. You can learn more about in Belena Docs. Next, we'll copy the whole project. Finally, we'll run node start.js. Now, we create package.json file. Later, we'll have dependencies. Next, we'll create start.js file where we can have our logic. To test, we'll console log hello world. Before we push the code, we will need to authenticate with Belena. Now we can push the code to Belena. Unicorn means push was successful. Now we can go to Belena inside our project We'll see it's uploading the code. At first it will take some time. Later on it will take less time to upload. Once uploading has finished, we can select the device and we'll see hello world is printed out in the console. Next, we need to create express server. First, we're gonna npm install express. 
we will create basic express server that will listen on port 80 and will send hello world on get request. Now we will push the code to Belena. Once it's ready, we can go to Belena and the inside device will see it's listening on port 80. We will turn on public device URL and click the icon next to it. And here is our hello world. We'll have unique IP address that Belena will give us. Now we will separate the express routes in a separate file called routes.js. Now we will import express and express router and we will move index route from start.js. Also we will create test route. And we will export our router file which will import in start.js file. And we will use router as express middleware. We will push to Belena and inside the device we will click the public URL. We will see hello world and if we add slash test to our URL, we will see testing as we expected. Now we will try to interact with our Raspberry Pi GPIOs. We will connect LED light to Raspberry Pi 5V and GPIO 8. Also we will use RPIO library to interact with GPIO. But first we need to install Windows built-in tools library with administrator privilege. We will search Windows PowerShell and right click and run as administrator. We will npm install dash dash global dash dash production windows dash build dash tools. We will add docker ignore file that includes node modules. Now we will go to docker file and we will run npm install rpio and specify the version. This will install rpio library on docker image. Now we'll go to routes file and we'll require rpio library. We'll set gpio mem to false which is required on raspberry pi. Then we'll initialize gpio 8 and set rpio direction to output. And we'll set RPIO to high, which will set LED off initially. Now we'll rename our route to be on, which will turn on LED light on Raspberry Pi. We will also rename the other route to be off, which will turn off the LED light. We will push to Belena. And in our Belena we will see device running on port 80. We will click to our public URL and add slash on. Now we will see LED is on. Now let's change it to off. And we will see LED is off. Belena has a lot of features and functionalities. You can learn more about in Belena documentation.